everybody. So it's a really beautiful day. We need to get our paper, get our potatoes, and go and print outside. Perfect place for kids to do it. Do it on the grass, do it on your patio. Um, doesn't need to, need to worry so much with paint going everywhere outside. Um, so I just did a very, very quick little tip. Um, oh, last week I did a video for Saatchi Gallery, which was um, amazing and terrifying in equal measure. Never done anything live before. So that was the first, but in it I showed a particular technique and lots of people have asked um, if I could show it again, so just a really quick one. And actually at first I'd like to say, this technique is not something I have come across, I've totally stolen it from a great friend of mine, Kate McRae, who has an interior design company called Kate Arbuthnot Interiors, so it's all thanks to her and her gorgeous little children. It was her that first showed me, and you can make really cool prints using biscuit cutters. So I've got these two little biscuit cutters here and I'm just very, very quickly going to show you. Um, it's like another step on of how to come up with some new ideas and different concepts of printing. So I've got my bit of potato here. I also want to add, I haven't actually got through that many potatoes. I know I'm printing a lot, but I try and cut them down and start again or use all the little bits up. So this is one huge great baked potato that I cut into lots of slices and I'm keeping it in the fridge and working my way through it. But I've got this really simple round um, biscuit cutter and I'm going to start by cutting a hole I'm not going to go okay actually I'm going to go right in the middle I'm going to go right down the middle push it in it's quite satisfying and then when you take it out and pop out your bit of potato that's left behind you've got the most perfect little spot okay I'm going to just put that aside for the moment and then I need my trusty spoon again I'm going to do some kind of sunshiny rays I think just to celebrate the beauty of this sunshine that's just so needed right now. Doesn't it make a difference? Um, I've opened all the windows in my house um, and the children are out and have to put on loads of coats and all that kind of stuff. So this is really cool. Nice looking bit like a pineapple. Just grabbing my spoon that really has been my best tool for all those who are asking to scrape out of it. Um, I tell you what, I might do this and then switch the camera back on when it's done. Okay. And actually. There we go. Nice. Taking these bits away really, really well. I'm going to come back to you in a minute. Once I've done it. Okay, so I've cut, taken out the hole in the middle and I've carved some little rays of sunshine around the edge and I'm just going to print them, it's going to be my print of the day. So I'm going to use, surprise surprise, pink, probably should be yellow on a day like today but again I just like to use up what I've got and this is already all made. So I'm using my sketchbook that I've got here, these are the journals that we sell on our website, they're full of the most delicious um, paper that's made from cotton remnants. Um, we get them made in Jaipur and this amazing woman, pretty, a lot of you might have read about her, she's from this brilliant company called Craft Boat and she goes around and collects scrap fabric from uh, garment factories, so the odd bits that you cut out from a t-shirt or something, and she collects them all up and then she works with an amazing team of paper makers and they're pulped very, very little machinery used. It's quite extraordinary, the whole process. I went and saw it when I was there once. And anyway, it's churn, round, round, around, boiling hot water. And then they scoop it out and um, squeeze it, basically. It's such a simple process, um, process. And you get this absolutely lovely sheets of paper and made from cotton, so they're really nice to print on, because it's almost like printing on fabric. Anyway, we made some really enormous, really heavy journals and actually since we've been um, isolating, we've given all my children one, I think I said this before, and they're doing all their sort of beautiful drawings that they might have to do for work in it and we're sticking things in and actually we're clearing our pin boards and our drawers of all little certificates and bits and pieces that they've had in the past and we're sticking them all in these journals very satisfying. So this is coming along really nicely. Just to print a few more 
rose. But oh my god, keep those prints coming. It's been so inspiring and I love seeing your work. I think everybody else loves seeing your work too. So do keep sharing them. I'm sticking as many as I can on my stories because it really helps the next person who comes along. It really helps them decide what they could carve and print as well. So I feel like this is becoming the most amazing uh, power to the potato print community and we can all learn off each other like I've learned this trick. Um, and other people sending in other ideas and stuff. So anything that comes in, I'm putting on my stories and you can all scroll through and get some ideas. Um, I've also loved hearing from so many mums who said they set out to do this with their children and their children have ended up disappearing off and they've been left printing by themselves. And I keep saying, I think that is so cool. I think we as mothers or any person adult at home needs a bit of time out and this really is therapy I love that I'm filling this journal by the time we're let loose and out again I'm gonna have so many great new ideas I have to do a whole particular um, fabric collection based on isolation potato prints Again, I'm always working, I don't normally work this fast, but I just want to show you how you could be doing this. You could be getting all your Christmas paper ready. Imagine that. We could be doing so much now that we normally get headaches from doing around the Christmas period, which I always find so hectic. So um, my kids are still printing away and I'm collecting up all their sheets of paper in a drawer. There, done. So there we go, print of the day, put it on my Instagram in a minute, I know it's upside down, but it's the same. So there we go, can you see, I'll post it on my Instagram, that was so quick and look at that, it's so, um, I don't know, it's so jaunty isn't it? So get printing, enjoy the sunshine and keep your potatoes in the fridge and then they'll last for longer. Okay, bye!